Okay, hello YouTube. Um, now that we have a dedicated server, I'm going to show you guys how to install Zombie Mod. First thing, go to your internet. Then go to www. ZombieMod.com. Then click on the Downloads tab right here. And then click on the first link. This is the latest version of Zombie Mod. It's for Windows and Linux servers. You need WinRAR to open up this file. So to get that, go to Google and type in WinRAR and go to the second link. So I'm going to download this file because I already have WinRAR. It doesn't matter if you open it or save it. I'm going to open it. The next file you need is Metamod. Go to www.sourcemm.net. Click on the Downloads tab. Click on the first one, MM Source 1.7.1 zip for Windows. Or you could pick Linux if you have that. Doesn't matter if you open it or save it. I'm going to open it. Okay, you don't need your internet browser anymore. You could close it down. Now you have these files. Go to Start My Computer your drive where you installed your dedicated server and here it is SRCDS open it open up your C strike folder first thing we're gonna do is install zombie mod so all you're gonna do is open up zombie mod highlight all these folders and drag them into your C strike folder. Click yes to all. Now you can close that. Now install Metamod. All you do is drag this one add-ons folder inside your C strike folder. Click yes to all. Close that. Now go to your add-ons folder. Go to Metamod, Meta Plugins. In here, type add ons slash zombie mod slash bin slash zombie underscore mm. Go to File and Save. Next, go back, back, and then go to your game info text. Scroll all the way down to the bottom where it has these three games. Make a new line. Call it game bin. And then type in game info underscore path add-ons slash metamod slash bin and then go to file save close that now go back 
create a shortcut of your uh, dedicated server, right click, create shortcut, and drag the shortcut onto your desktop. Close it, click on your shortcut, and here's your server. I'm going to start a test server to see if it worked. No wonder I have my antivirus running in the background. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, sorry about that. I paused the video and resumed it. You're, now that your server is up, go inside your console. As you can see, Zombie Mod has been loaded. Automatically, you didn't. You do not need to type in anything into your console. It loads automatically. To show you one more time, I'll close it and start again. In case you didn't see it. Start your server. Console. And there it is, loaded automatically. There. Now I'm going to show you how to change the settings of your zombie mod server. So go back to your dedicated server folder, go inside the C strike, then go inside. CFG, zombie mod, zombie mod CFG file. This has all of the files from editing how much the first zombie gets to unlimited ammo to all that jazz. So when you're done, just go to file save and you have to restart your server for it to work. Thanks for watching. Look for my other videos on how to install many mod or many admin on your server. If you have any questions, send me a message. Thanks.